Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this custom limited edition BPS knives full tang fixed blade knife. Let's get on into the video. <laughs> see more content like this from the head buckle outdoors youtube channel please do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button if you have not already thank you guys so much bps did this limited edition run of this fixed blade back sometime in november i believe it was and i thought it was pretty cool it's a ukrainian made knife with stainless 5 cr 14 mov is what it says on there and this is as you can see they only made a hundred of those number 21 kind of snowy out here so we're going to put it through its paces uh, I believe it's a five inch fixed blade, satin finish, Scandi grind. It's like a high Scandi. I don't know if the camera can pick that up too well. We have quite a bit of snow coming down right now. Beautiful micarta handles. Uh, you do have these little bolts holding them in. You do have a lanyard ring down here at the pommel and these finger grooves, as you can see. Pretty neat little stuff. Let's put it through a couple tests and then I'll show you guys what I think. Alrighty. It's a bit cold out here. It's the first time we've had snow here in Missouri in a while. Oh, let me find my paracord. Kind of a mess out here today. I'm trying to hold on to all my stuff that way I don't lose it. But we're gonna try some paracord. We're gonna try some cardboard. See how it does. Pretty simple, pretty easy. No complaints there. Cut through it again. Let's do a double loop. Awesome, no complaints there. I'm interested to see how the stainless holds up. Uh, it's extremely wet out here, and uh, I want to see if it rusts up, but I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. All right, so moving on to test number two. Got some dirt on the blade. It is cardboard. You guys know I love this one. A lot of times, I just like to try out my fixed blades and knives in general whenever I get an Amazon package or something. I thought I heard a deer or something behind me. Oh, well. <laughs> Apologize if I'm a little shaky. It is pretty cold out here. This is some thicker cardboard. Just fillet it right open. Pretty good edge on this out of the box, so no complaints. One. Now, I was interested to see while wearing these uh, leather work gloves out here in the cold. The handle is very groovy. Uh, this micarta really makes it uh, grippy, especially when you're wearing gloves. It's not loose at all when I'm wearing them. I've got the perfect purchase on the back there with all the jimping, so uh, no complaints whatsoever. Let's try some minor chopping. But that is some slick looking micarta. Um, so BPS, all the knives I've had from them have typically been the beautiful uh, wood handles, walnut or whatever else they decide to use. This one though, I love the combination between like the green weathered looking micarta and the satin blade. I just think that's pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but I'm a big fan. All right get that off of there that okay so this is about i don't know a quarter inch and that's pretty simple let's see if we can make a good little spear point on this now this wood is extremely frozen and extremely wet so bear with me Overall, not so bad. I will say in this cold, having that jimping on there is a godsend. But uh, not really feeling like my fingers want to slide up. That purchase on that micarta is just perfect. I honestly think it's the wood, not the knife, that's causing it. this. There's a lot of moisture in it, I can tell. Let's see. We got a spear point. Eh, close enough. You guys get the idea. Overall, not too, too bad. Let's head inside and do some final thoughts. So, back inside now. Uh, very snowy, very wet out there. Had a good time filming, though. I had to make sure I brought all my stuff back in because it's super easy to lose stuff out there in the snow. Anyway, so yeah, this uh, custom BPS knives did a limited run, 100 of them, I think. Uh, something that really drew me is just the contrast to the normal stuff they do. Uh, the beautiful leather work, the wooden handles and all that stuff but this one has the uh, polymer kydex sheath I forget but it's ambidextrous I've got this one set up for left-handed uh, works pretty good you just have this little notch down here you push open 
kind of wet so it was a little sticky but yeah you've got that now to lock you close it and then you can lock it by pushing it over there you go so overall no complaints retention on this really good very very quiet uh, i think i'm going to put some orange paracord on the handle had give some contrast color that way too i can hold on to it if i'm doing some wrist flicking but final thoughts so blade held up really well i love scandies most of you know that who uh stay tuned to the channel it's um the edge right out of the box is perfect uh the quality and control in this i've had hit or miss with bps before i mean very budget friendly knives and for what you get overall no complaints but this i think this came in at right around 85 dollars with shipping international shipping you got to hear from the ukraine but uh the five inch i think this is like the perfect bushcraft style knife now the jimping and the micarta mixture just being able to uh have that while i'm using the gloves trying to chop extreme purchase i wasn't feeling like it was going to slip or i was going to lose my grip or anything uh absolutely perfect i like what they did with this micarta it looks a little bit weathered i've actually never had a full micarta handle before crazy enough so uh having that is pretty neat i'm a big fan of the finger groups it's a departure from some of their other blades uh but yeah i think the combination of all that really makes a slick looking knife um fit and finish no complaints really the one thing i will say this is pretty much universal with all the bps knives i've had i might try to get some different screws but probably not i wasn't really noticing any hot spots is uh these bolts here are not flush with the micarta which is unfortunate you know but uh it's what it is so i'm uh, just gonna have to deal with it but yeah for 80 bucks honestly no complaints i don't think you could get anything near this quality especially with this good quality of a whole uh sheath rather uh they're both like very good 80 bucks and you get the whole package uh but yeah a little bit of a sharpening choil there i'm gonna use this some more i might make an updated video for this in a few months come like fourth of july or something and see how it's holding up but i'm very excited to use this i think it's an interesting type of stainless they use in here so typically they stick with their 1066 but as you can see i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up very well but it is stainless at 5 cr14 mov i'm not familiar with that type of steel so uh let me know guys uh what you what your thoughts are on that but i kind of like the idea that it was limited edition i figured i'd pick one of these up while i could but yeah that's the video thank you guys so much for watching like share and comment help promote the channel and the algorithms and if you have not already please subscribe please have a fantastic day